height 611 UFO incident. During the reign of the Soviet Union, there was a tremendous amount of sightings and UFO incidents that were cast aside and forgotten about due to the fact that the government of the Soviet Union worked tirelessly to hide evidence of extraterrestrials from its citizens in fear of its people discovering that there were higher powers that extended beyond the power and control of the Soviet Union. Because of this, many of these incidents are not well known even amongst dedicated members and researchers of the alien community. One of these such events was the Height 611 UFO incident that occurred back in 1986 on the 29th of January in the small town of Dalnogorsk. According to the residents of the town, a strange reddish orb of a massive size was spotted at around 8pm that had passed over the town. This reddish orb was described as being as half as large as the moon overhead and to have appeared to have been similar in color and luminescence to that of a dark red flame. Eyewitnesses also noted that as the object flew parallel to the ground, it made no noise of any kind as it passed over something that seemed impossible to accomplish with even the most advanced aircraft imaginable. Using specified witness timeframes and the flight path of the object, Investigators calculated that the orb flew at approximately 34 miles per hour and that it was flying roughly 7 to 800 meters above the ground. As the object continued its flight path overhead, it suddenly began descending quickly and crashed into the side of the mountains located near the town. Oddly enough, every witness reported that not only did the object crash into the side of the mountain and appear to have exploded or spread temporarily as a natural wildfire before dissipating and completely disappearing, but that as it crashed, it made no sound whatsoever, which is a feat that is impossible to accomplish regardless of any advancements made in flight capabilities as it seems to defy the fundamental laws of physics themselves. Further investigation yielded interesting results as some rocks at the impact site had drops of lead that had previously been molten before solidifying on the rocks in the cold. Not only this, but rare earth metals were also recovered in the vicinity that were not naturally found in any types of deposits on the mountain previously. Unfortunately, the pictures taken by the investigators at the time, when later developed, turned out to be blank almost as if they had been swapped out entirely and replaced with fresh film in an effort to cover up the evidence gathered at the location of impact. The official explanation provided by the Soviet Union at the time was that a meteorite had recently impacted the site and was the cause of the strange findings of the rare earth metals and strange chemical composites. However, the provided explanation had failed to explain the eyewitness accounts of the event as well as the fact that sightings of strange red orbs landing on the mountainside would continue at the site over the next few years. Ghost Ships When standing on the shores of beaches from around the world, encounters with this strange paranormal and supernatural occurrence has left many wondering if darker forces are responsible for the terrible fate of those of whom have went missing on the open seas. Some of these encounters include claims of seeing ships in the distance seemingly floating in the sky, an effect known as atmospheric refraction that had led many to not understand the nature of the horizon. Others, however, have reported sightings impossible to explain with natural scientific means, such as encounters seen on the shores of Chesapeake Bay. Though there are a collection of rumors and myths surrounding the area regarding potentially hidden and buried treasure, locals have also claimed that if someone stays there for a prolonged period of time, they will begin to notice a large ghostly image off the port beginning to manifest. This has led many to have reported spotting ghostly ships out past the harbour and rumours of getting near the ship have spread further legends of wailing spirits inhabiting them. It does appear, however, that such claims of ghost ships manifesting as large ethereal ships coming close to the shores has arisen in many different areas around the world and are not just described as ships with completely abandoned crews but rather as large glowing spirits that take on the form of boats and the wailing undead that inhabit them. Other such popular cases of abandoned ships washing up on shores include the recovery of the Kaz 2 that is often regarded as one of the most unexplained and strange Australian mysteries to ever wash up on the beach, with authorities discovering even food and flatware perfectly fine on tables, a fully charged computer on, and the engine still running. The Spirit of Nicalia 
part of the ancient legends of the Greenlandic Inuit people is that of the spirit known as the Spirit of Nikalia. Though it is difficult to get the unabridged version of the legend surrounding the spirit, according to what is known surrounding the stories of the legend taken from the account of the shamans in the modern day, the spirit of Nikalia was that of the spirit of a man that had died near that of a small inlet of water cutting throughout the area from the ocean. According to the story, a man named Misawanianga, when travelling on a small boat through this very same inlet of water in an attempt to find a nearby town, he encountered the spirit of Nikalia that had told the man that he was a spirit of the underworld of a man known as Nikalia that had passed away in the waters and was unable to find his way back into the town as well. This led to the man, known as Misawanianga, to assist the spirits of the underworld as they began to work together in the efforts to find a nearby town. Upon finding the town, the spirit thanks the man and was able to move on into peace for eternity as the story describes. Interestingly enough, in the modern day, many people visiting Greenland of whom have often gone kayaking through these inlets of ocean water or even that of smaller rivers or creeks have often claimed to see a ghostly manifestation or a shadow on the banks of the water that appear to be pointing in different directions as to where the kayakers are travelling. This has led many to believe that perhaps the spirit of Nikalia is still out there around these bodies of water, helping new travellers to find their way safely in and out of these dangerous waters. This has led many shamans to refer to Nikalia as the helping spirit of the underworld. The Encounters with the Monkey Man Another strange case of investigation surrounding urban legends told throughout India is that of the odd encounters of the Monkey Man. According to witness accounts, the Monkey Man was originally spotted around the city of New Delhi during 2001 and left a trail of injured witnesses behind. The urban legend tells in detail that this strange creature was seen climbing walls, posts and the sides of buildings while leaping to and from tall structures at an almost supernatural speed. The creature was described as being four foot tall, covered in thick black hair, wearing a metal helmet, possessing metal claws, looking around with glowing red eyes and had three large protruding buttons located on its chest. The most peculiar thing surrounding the sights of the monkey man was the creature's strange ability to change form as some claimed that the creature could suddenly grow up to eight feet in size, could develop the snout of a dog or even shrink back down to the size of a small monkey to get in through the windows of buildings. Once inside the buildings, the monkey man would begin clawing and attacking its victims before fleeing out through the window again, leaving behind a trail of injured individuals filing reports with police that had gashes and claw marks almost impossible to explain. Though police would later claim that the incident was nothing more than mass hysteria, others claimed that the creature had killed more than three people during its attacks and had even thrown a man off of the roof of a building that it was leaping from. Given the vast amount of witnesses surrounding the incident that spanned districts and large portions of the city, many still believe that the creature was a genuine encounter that the police have failed to explain and could be the product of illegal testing with animals in nearby government facilities. The Legend of the Codex Gygas One of the most well-known stories concerning that of a person making a deal with the devil is the existence of the fabled Codex Gygas. The Codex Gygas, also referred to as the Devil's Bible, was supposedly written by the devil himself after a desperate monk summoned him in exchange for his life. According to the legend, back in 2013 AD, a monastery in Bohemia that made up the monks of the Black Cloth a radical Christian group of whom devoted their belief to God by performing gruesome acts of starvation, isolation and self-mutilation, accepted the terms outlined by one monk who promised to write the greatest book in a single night. The reason for this promise was due to the fact that the monk of the monastery had broken such a sacred rule of their monastery that the sin itself was covered up. After the other monks had convened, they decided that the punishment for the monk would be to go to wall him up alive, essentially trapping him into a mausoleum. This led the monk to quickly promise the monastery that he could earn redemption by crafting the largest book that held all of human knowledge, including magic, medicine, information on herbs, as well as the entire Bible in only one night. 
The monastery agreed to this outlandish promise on the basis of making a deal with the monk. They would allow him a chance at redemption if he could create the book in one night, but that if he failed, they would continue with their punishment regardless. This led to the monk working throughout the night in a moment of panic, gathering all of the supplies necessary and binding the massive book before realizing that it would be humanly impossible to complete the task. At the stroke of midnight, in his desperation, he performed a dark ritual and summoned the devil himself. He quickly promised the devil his soul if the devil himself would use his supernatural powers to create the book and save him from death. In an instant, the devil accepted the deal and wrote the entire book in a single night, fulfilling the promise and saving the life of the monk. Interestingly enough, in the modern day, when experts took the time to look over the book, they found overwhelming evidence that the entire book was written by a single author in an incredibly short amount of time. The expected amount of time to work on such a massive book was expected to be more than a single author's lifetime. However, the entire piece has a consistent style of writing, of which it's only possible to accomplish by having a lone author. Using the same type of ink made in the same way, as is common with books with a single author, and has an entire page of a drawing of the devil as a reference to the credit of the author.